Hello again, YouTubes. This is Beanie Bomb, and Happy New Year! Yay! Um, I did this video yesterday, but it had some rendering issues, and it was rushed, so it wasn't that good, because I was trying to get it up before 12, but I think it's better because the 2012 is finally over. God, that seemed like forever. And now it is finally 2013! Oh, wow, it's so hardcore. <laughs> so, since it is the end of the year, or the year has ended, I should say, I'm going to give you my top 10 games of 2012. Let's begin. All right, starting off at the list, top of the list, or bottom of the list, or whatever you want to call it, number 10, we have Chivalry Medieval Warfare. Uh, I love knights, and I love renaissance stuff, so, I mean, this had to be on there, and plus, it had, it had beautiful graphics, it had very brutal combat, and the weapons were all realistic, they were all based on real-life weapons, and what not, it had very balanced gameplay, and it's very skill-based, so you can't just swing around your sword mindlessly, Call of Duty, um, <laughs> Call of Duty doesn't have swords, but it has knives that kill in one hit, which is more than a bullet, which doesn't make sense, but we'll go around that. Um, but you can't just swing around your sword, or you'll lose the fight, and you will kill your teammates as well. So that would not be good for business. All right, and that brings us on to number nine. We have Tribes Ascend. Uh, it's on this list because I've put so many hours into that game. I've I've stayed up till sunrise playing that so many times and I didn't even notice what time it was. It's very fun. Flying around is awesome and it's got really good mechanics. Like when you ski, it's like feels so much fun. Feels so much fun. Feels really good to get a lot of speed and jump up into the air and assassinate people from the sky. It's very beautiful and it's got really good map design too. Um, I like the lava map. That was my Skype, if you heard that. If not, then that's cool. Um, <laughs> Alright, so, number 8! We have... Da -da -da -da, Battlefield 3! Yes, Battlefield 3. I didn't play it on my channel, but it's a, it's a very good game. It's got very good online, lots of fun. Um, it's got very good visuals. Like, very good visuals. Like, it looks on the highest settings almost like real life but uh any settings that are below the highest settings are on high it looks kind of muddy and disgusting when you're talking about pc like on the console it looks pretty disgusting but whatever that's not graphics isn't everything you know uh the guns feel good it's the most realistic war game of this year i guess yeah that, it's not really realistic but uh <laughs> Because have you seen the stunts you can do from vehicles and stuff in like montages? They're crazy. People jumping out of planes, killing planes, stealing the planes they killed, and then jumping out of those planes and throwing C4 on the passengers that are falling out of the planes that they jumped out of and hijacked and killed and exploded. So <laughs> that's fun. All right, here at number seven we have Dishonored. Um, from what I have played, it feels very good. I've also watched playthroughs of it, but I haven't watched all of the playthroughs because I didn't want to spoil it for myself. Uh, it's got a really good stealth system. The magic is really cool. You can chain magic together for awesome kills, like you can stop time you, while a guy is firing a bullet at you. You can possess him, you can walk him in front of his own bullet, and then he kills himself. Or you can get like a super collateral quad, and you can shoot crossbow arrows and while pause time time is paused and you could play time and everyone dies at the same time 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 <laughs> oh yes um but it would have been higher in this list if it wasn't so short and if they didn't punish you so much for having a combat based gameplay style like if you don't kill anyone you get the best ending but if you like to go mlg pro 360 no scope style and decapitate some foos you gonna get a bad ending so I really don't recommend doing that unless you like bad endings. I don't know. I like good endings, so you know I'm still doing a playthrough of it on my channel. And uh, if I don't forget, there will be an annotation over each game to link you to my playlist of it uh, if I have one. So that'll be cool if you guys want to watch it. Number six, we have Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2 is awesome. It's like Borderlands 1, which was already good. If they increased 
the awesome by two. Which is, that's a lot of awesome to be increasing. That's like 112 times two. You get 750. Math. Learn it. Um, <laughs> it looks wonderful. It's got almost a cell shaded look, almost. But it's more like a comic book, I guess, with like black outlines on everything. Um, the guns feel good. It's very fun to jump around and assassinate people in quick scope with all the guns. Uh, it's a very good PC port. You've got all the options you'd ever want and need, so that's great. Uh, and it's got a very big open world, so that's always fun to explore. Number five on the list, we have Scribble Knots Unlimited. This game is very it, it's so much work and effort was put into this. It's very creative, so it's all based on creativity, but all of the items have their own animation. You could spawn anything you could think of that isn't copyrighted, um, <laughs> or like uh, proper nouns like, uh, I don't know, George Bush? Could you spawn him in? I don't know, you could spawn older presidents, but I'm not sure if you could just spawn history or whatnot. Um, you could spawn like a lore, you could spawn a bunch of things, and they have animations based on each adjective for everything. The art style is good, the animation st style is good, the modding community brings in all of the items that weren't in the game already, uh, like copyrighted stuff, and so that would be good. I hit my desk if you heard that. <laughs> um, and it's got a really cool object editor if you want to make your own stuff, which is also really cool. Great game, lots of fun. Number four, we have Skyrim. It's it's a beautiful open world game, and I believe it got Game of the Year, which is kind of weird because it got Game of the Year before any of the major games came out. But whatever, you know, it's I don't really think that matters too much. Um, uh, the shouts are awesome in it. The magic is very fun because a lot of games that are like that tend to skip the magic to sort of punish you for it. This is almost does, but I mean the master of the electricity spells, the lightning bolts, the shocks, the master of that, you do a freaking Kamehameha in the faces, so it's definitely worth it. Uh, the character customization is very good and detailed, and I love that because I love customizing characters. If you watch my playthrough, I play as my house cat, so that's just, that's, that's pretty good. Um, lots of customization there. You can change your classes with a simple change in gear, pretty much. Like, besides, uh, perks and stuff, if you have no perks and you have really good gear, if you just switch out your gear, you can go from being a mage to an assassin to a warrior all within a couple seconds, so that's really cool. Uh, and also, it has a really good modding community, which gives the game almost infinite replayability, as of most Bethesda games do. Um, so yeah, that's number four. Number three, we have Trials Evolution. I bet you weren't expecting that one. Uh, this game is extremely fun. That's like the definition of this game, is fun. You go in the dictionary, you look up video game fun, it'll be Trials Evolution. Even though there's not a video game fun word in the dictionary, it'll be in there because Trials Evolution is so much fun that it had to have its own word, video game fun. <laughs> it's got beautiful single player, it's really good on that aspect, um, but if you get bored of the single player or you beat the story mode, the community is amazing. Some of the maps there are even better than the maps created by Red Links themselves in the single player. Uh, Red Links is the makers of the game. So that's really cool. The map editor uh, is awesome. Lets you do anything that the editors did. And it's like Happy Wheels, if Happy Wheels was 6,000 times better in every single way, shape, and form. Uh, <laughs> so that is number three. Coming in at number two. We're almost done with this list. And this is quite a bit shorter than the last video I made, but I think it's better. I think. <laughs> number two. All right, here it is. We have Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I love fighting games. You wouldn't guess it, would you? Because I haven't revealed that on my channel, but I love fighting games so much. First genre video game I have ever played in my life, and I started gaming at four. Um, first fighting game I ever played was Bloody Roar, 
But uh, let's stop talking about and we'll talk about the points on why this is number two in the list. Uh, it's got very hard boss battles, which is a good thing because when you beat them, your adrenaline's all pumping and you're like, yeah, and you throw your controller against the window and your house explodes due to just the, the amount of testosterone that is generated. Even if you're a girl, you generate so much estrogen that it turns into a testosterone and your house explodes. Uh, <laughs> It's got wonderful visuals. It's extremely brutal. It's very gory. It's like probably one of the goriest games I have ever seen. Um, all the characters feel great in their own way, except for Quan Chi. He sucks donkey hoofs. He's terrible. Only for me, I think. I think some people must be good with him. Whatever. Whatever opinion there is, there's always an opposite opinion. Um, it is in my opinion, the best fighting game of all time. It has the best combo system since Killer Instinct. Uh, so, yeah, that's good. Uh, it has this custom combo thing. It's actually pretty simple if you think about it. They give you um, short combos and combo chaining special attacks, and you can combine those in the correct order, and you can get crazy, like, 60 to 80, maybe not 80, but you can get crazy amount of... <laughs> hit combos there. Um, I've spent at least 30 hours just creating combos. Just combos, not actually playing the game. Um, it's really good. It's awesome. It's great. I love it. Fanboy for life. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, and that brings us to number one. Number one. Best game in 2012. And in my opinion, because this game was so good, best game of all time. Far Cry 3! Yes, this game is so good. I might make a playthrough on it once I'm done with it, but oh my god, it's so good. I won't be done with it for a while because the, like, the first couple days of me playing it was just exploring the beautiful land and the wonderful graphics. Like The game looks wonderful with everything on the lowest setting. It's got... It's got like... It's got amazing character... I just said like, like 50 times. In one sentence but it's got amazing character development uh, the main characters are extremely relatable to me at least uh, characters are very lively and they all seem to have a very interesting personality which is good it gets you very immersed in the game and the game itself is very immersive uh, the graphics are beautiful as I already mentioned uh, it's got really fun fire physics like the weed burning mission you, sh you should look that up on YouTube. It's really cool. You get to burn down a whole town and like a bunch of gardens of just weed to mess up this drug dealer's life and stuff like that. Um, the online is wonderful. IGN, you suck for bashing it because it's great. <laughs> it's got all the great elements from the story in it, which is rare because like in the cases of Black Ops 2, what you had in the story, you only have like 40% of that in the online mode. So, that story in the online combined makes a great mixture of just fun. That game is so much fun. The story is amazing. And that's something that games, I think, lack on nowadays. Except for games like Dishonored, that's very story driven. Um, I love story in games. That's my favorite thing about games. Like, online is great and it provides hours of entertainment. But the story is what really gets you. In a game like Far Cry 3, with a story that good, it has to just—it has to be my favorite game of 2012. It's great. It's wonderful. It's the best game ever, in my opinion, and I highly recommend it. Highly recommend all of these games. Um, and Tribes of Sand is free, so you can start there if you want. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's it for my top 10 games of 2012. I hope you guys had a wonderful New Year's Eve. I hope no one died. <sighs> Freaking drunk driving, man. Not good. Don't be stupid. S stay sober. Call a cab or something. Um, don't drink. Just don't drink. That's that's good. <laughs> that's it. That's some good advice. Um, but yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> Uh, leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite games of 2012 was is. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.